I hadn't heard the term microbiota donation a few years ago. I never would have thought that transplanting the poo of a healthy person into the gut of someone like me could actually prevent a life-threatening infection. But that's exactly what it did. My name's Kevin Young. I am a 67-year-old agricultural scientist who lives in a uh, beautiful little town of Esperance in Western Australia. I've created a business here, raised my family here, built a life I love. My dear old mum always told me things happen in threes. First, it was the fire. It destroyed the house I designed, built and raised my family in. Then in 2020, I tested positive for bowel cancer. A colonoscopy revealed a tumour. I'd require surgery to remove it, which at my age came with a very slow, long and painful recovery. And then came number three. Whilst in hospital, I contracted Clostridium difficile. It's really commonly known as C. diff. It's an infection of the bowel. Uh, it's very aggressive. It's generally resistant to most of the common antibiotics. When the C. diff hit, it hit incredibly hard. You know, I didn't know you could get that crook and not die. I didn't need the doctors to explain it to me. I, I could feel it. You know, the, the outlook wasn't good. Being close to retirement, I started to reflect on what sort of retirement I was going to have, whether I was going to realise my dreams of establishing my orchard in my bush block, whether I was going to be able to see my grandkids grow up. Eventually, it was suggested that my best hope was something called faecal microbiota for transplant, or FMT. and I had my transplant in mid-December. Within a couple of days, I was back at work. The result was immediate, bloody amazing. Eight months on, I've had no signs of the infection returning. I just got a lot to look forward to in retirement. And at least I'm healthy enough to enjoy it. One of the things I, I learned from our, our house fire was, you know, you got lots of text messages, lots of well wishes, but there were mates there. And I suppose the donors are the mates who turn up without lifeblood and, and the FMT program, I might not be here. So, you know, what more can you say than thank you?